Very good. Uh, but let's go back to the failures of the APC, which the wife of the president even confirmed by begging. But you know, they are alleged failures. No, no. Don't use the word failures. Please, they, please. They no, no, alleged. no, no. M Mr. Kiamo, you asked for let's pipe things down. We've been civil. Let's just continue this way. Let me finish talking. Now you are interrupting me, Mr. Kiamo. Let's keep things civil, no, all right? I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying Mr. To, Kiamo, you, you know, see... You see I'm sure the piece. world sees that you're the one interrupting me now. Let me finish my okay, statement. Okay, go ahead. All right, okay, the failures of the APC, which are too numerous to mention, one of the longest strike in recent times, ASU strike, the Jackpot syndrome, the poor economy, the fact that as Minister of Labor, we've not had employment for the people, youth unemployment on the high, the fact that you'll be leaving one of the biggest debt burden behind. So when you were saying in 2015, everybody knew that Nigeria was headed for dire straits, people are even more skeptical about the future after this your government leaves because you've left so much debt behind, you've crippled the economy, you're trying to tax everybody, and you keep breaking the laws. You know what you're doing now? For the first time, you've signed in the budget, the president has signed in the budget, but he's not signed the finance bill. You are a lawyer. You know that's at variance with the laws on ground. He skips that. So the failures keep mounting. I don't know how you're going to defend all of this litany of failures. Secondly, you say endorsements don't count the dime a dozen. They don't count so much, yes, and I believe you. So much that your party had to divide their Fanny Ferry after Payo Debanjo endorsed Peter Obi. Then there was a going to Parfashion Roti at the back to seek his endorsement, and he gave it. So now we have for the first time a Fanny Ferry, two greater Fanny Ferry leaders endorsed two different people. And you say endorsements do not count a lot. Two questions, please, as we wrap up. The first one was not a question. The first one was a comment. So that's why I was correcting you. You were saying the economy has failed, blah, blah, blah. That was not a question. So I would prefer that we move this discussion out of this forum so you don't sit down there as an, a journalist. Move two of us as co-debaters to somewhere, and then we debate it, me and you. I was expecting that you were there to ask questions and not to debate with me. So next time, move this forum away from question answer, move it to code debater, because you are making statements, emphatic statements that I tell you I disagree with. You say the economy has failed, I disagree with you, because it has not failed. It has not failed because right now, like I said, we have one of the best recovery rates, and IMF has confirmed that. We came out of post-COVID better than and quicker than IMF projected. And I'm giving you facts. And when I give you facts at times, like I said earlier, when you have uh, memorized something to pour out, you just keep pouring it out without taking note of the facts. I told you about the unemployment rate and the fact that multi-levels of government are involved and it was all a worldwide issue post-COVID that is shut up. But you keep reporting the same issues. So I would prefer that we both go and debate somewhere instead of you asking me questions here. Yeah. That is to answer you. That's to reply you on that, first of all. I, I disagree with you. And then you talk about the borrowing. The borrowing, people can easily see the infrastructure that we have built as a result of borrowing. And then, you know what? When people borrow you, we are credit worthy. It means that they rate your economy so good that you can pay back. Because these are things that will reflect the economy. It's only by infrastructure you can reflect the economy. And the economy will do so well that we can pay back You know these... Uh, these loans. Don't forget too that in Africa, our our debt to you know uh, GDP ratio is the best. Rufai, go and check for the big nations in Africa of Egypt, of Kenya, of South Africa, of Ghana. Our debt to GDP ratio is one of the best. So if the world considers us credit worthy, and we have not, don't forget too, we have not also reached the IMF you know ceiling of 55 percent. We are still doing about 25, 30 percent of our debt to GDP ratio. Other African countries are doing 80 percent, 90 percent, 70 percent above the IMF, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, ceiling. So I disagree with you. Next time, move us to be co debaters who will debate this issue. On the second issue uh, regarding our, our budget, you know, at the last point when we want to, we want to live on a high. There's nothing. There's nothing bad about, you know, asking for. Uh, supplementary budgets and approvals of men. We can always rectify that. We will rectify it at, the, at some point. We will rectify it at some point. But there's nothing wrong. We have always asked for, you know, supplementary budgets 
and the National Assembly have always approved our supplementary budget. And at some point, we will, you know, rectify that. Well, uh, first of all,